I just got my order from Meat and Bone. They are a meat protein delivery and subscription service. You can purchase stuff kind of like a la carte from them or you can subscribe. Um, and they have poultry, beef, pork, fish, and a lot of game meat. When you order a subscription, they have like a couple of different size boxes and you can choose from one to three um, like protein categories. So you could say, you know, you want your box to be only seafood or seafood and beef or, you know, chicken, pork, and game meat. They only let you do up to three of the, I think six lamb is also in there. They have six different options. And the box sizes are pretty large. Um, the smallest size has 20 portions of meat for around $150. I decided to pick up a couple of products kind of a la carte um, to test out their selection rather than order like the whole big box and this way I can get like a little bit of variety and stuff. Um, so let's open it up and see what I got. I've got a styrofoam. There we go. <laughs> wow, this is sealed pretty tight. There's a there's tape that goes like all the way around. It's just the paper packaging. Definitely cold. This was my dry ice bag. Um, it's empty now, but everything in here is still cold. Oh, and then we've got regular ice packs too. So a bunch of gel packs. These are frozen solid. Because they do game meat, which I think is kind of unusual and cool um, and sets them apart from a lot of, a lot of other companies, I um, ordered two different game meats um, in in my package. I got a, a bison New York strip, and then I got this venison sausage with Merlot and blueberries. Everything's still cold. This is a little bit like soft, but it's definitely like cold, like even colder than refrigerator cold, but not frozen solid. This one feels more frozen solid. They had a great selection of seafood, including whole fish, which I love. Did not order that, but I did get a um, bronzino filet. That's one of my all-time favorites. Um, and then they had a lot of South American stuff. Um, a lot of stuff from Argentina, like Argentine, Argentinian like barbecue type stuff. So I got these um, bombones that are the little sausages that I'll probably make sandwiches with, with like chimichurri or something. Um, I figured this was like a pretty good selection of some of the cooler stuff that they have. They also obviously have, you know, chicken breasts, chicken thighs, they had wagyu beef, they had ground meat, lamb chops, like pretty much anything you could think of they had, including some of this more unusual stuff. I think they were sold out of the alligator, but they had alligator meat, they had elk, different types of, different cuts of venison, different cuts of bison, plenty of seafood, like I said, all really cool stuff. So I am gonna pop these in the fridge or freezer, get them ready to go, and then cook them up, and I'm excited to try them. I got this bison New York strip from Meat and Bone, beautiful steak, and I kind of, feel like I should be doing it like cowboy style out on a campfire somewhere, but I'm really craving something light. So I'm just gonna make it into a simple steak salad. Um, I just let it rest at room temperature um, and seasoned it with a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna sear it in my cast iron and cut it up and throw it on some arugula, maybe with some blistered tomatoes and a vinaigrette. I've had bison or buffalo before. It's very similar to beef, a little bit leaner and sometimes a little bit sweeter tasting. This, according to their website, was raised on, you know, farms in North America. It's kind of a nice treat, so I'm excited to try this. smells amazing. I cooked it to a like a medium rare, just how I like my steak. I was actually worried that I was going to overcook it because it was pretty thin and it seemed like it was cooking pretty quickly, but I feel like that's perfect for, for me. It smells really good. All I did was season it with a little bit of salt um, and then sear it in like a hot pan. Um, I'm going to put together a salad with it, but I want to try it on its own first. Oh my god. It's so good. It's super juicy, but not too fatty. There was a fat cap on the New York strip that I kind of rendered down. I, I took a pair of tongs and like seared it on its side. Super flavorful. And it seriously is just like melting, falling apart. I can just tear it with my hands. This is delicious. And there's my salad. I just did a little arugula with vinaigrette and I blistered some local cherry tomatoes that I had. 
in the same pan that I cooked the steak in while I was resting the steak. Super lean, I'm super healthy, and now I'm gonna go eat it. So I got these uh, Argentinian bonbons from Meat and Bone. They're like little mini pork sausages. They seem to have a lot of South American and specifically Argentinian foods on their uh, on their site. They also had like a couple of blog posts about it. So I figured this was like a good option. I think I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I was thinking that I might use them to make kind of a very inauthentic, very inauthentic version of like a choripan. So I'm gonna cook these up, throw them on some toasted bread with a little kind of like herby, garlicky, like almost chimichurri, but again, very inauthentic because I'm using what I've got in my kitchen right now. Let's try them. I just finished making these very oily, garlicky, herby sausage sandwiches, and I am very excited to try this. Um, it smells amazing. The sausage cooked up like beautifully. Um, I loved how small they were. They were super easy to cook. Yum, that's really good. Sausage has like just a little bit of spice to it. Cooked up super crispy on the outside. Not too like greasy or fatty which is great because as you can see, I put a ton of oil in my sauce, really coated the bread and kind of like, it's almost like an herby, like garlic bread that I put it on. Yeah, that's delicious. Super cool, super convenient. Not something I've ever had before. That was really fun. That was a cool thing to have in my freezer. All right, um, I got this bronzino from Meat and Bone. It says fish and bone on the label, which is adorable. Bronzino is probably my favorite fish. Um, it's like a Mediterranean sea bass, kind of a flaky white fish. My fiance and I actually have a rule that if we go to a restaurant and we see bronzino on the menu, we have to order it. They set, they sold um, whole fish too at Mean Bone, a whole bronzino, which is awesome. I love cooking a whole fish on the grill in the summertime, but I just moved and I don't have a grill yet. So I figured this would be a lot easier to cook stove top, skin on. I'm just gonna sear it, maybe do some like butters, caper, lemon, cause that's what I have in my fridge and it'll probably cook up in just a couple minutes. So it's awesome for a quick weeknight meal cause I'm running a little behind tonight. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited to find this. I've seen Bronzino sometimes in my local grocery stores, especially the, um, the ones that have a bigger selection of seafood and stuff, but it's kind of rare. Most of them don't carry stuff like this. So this was a good find. I'm very excited about it. Okay, and that is dinner. Um, I decided to just go with a little salad on the side. It cooked up super quick. I think the whole thing took me maybe six minutes. So, so easy. It smells amazing. You might be able to hear the pan sizzling in the background still. Super flaky. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, that's so good. It would be worth it to me to just order like a box of this because this is perfect. It defrosted in the fridge super quick. You would probably even defrost it with some cool running water in a bag, you know, cooked in less than 10 minutes. So, so delicious, super healthy. Yeah, this was a very good find. I have one thing left from Meat and Bone and that's this venison sausage. It's actually um, venison, pork, and beef with Merlot, blueberries, and some potato in it. I thought it sounded interesting. They have a ton of game meat and a ton of sausages. They have, you know, venison, elk. They were sold out of alligator, but they <laughs> normally carry that as well. So I th thought this was cool. Um, I know that I like venison. I've had it before, despite it, you know, it's not for everyone, it's a little gamey. I actually, um, a friend and I wrote a book about bartending back when we were working in restaurants and we came up with the idea over a venison dinner. So fun fact. <laughs> I'm just gonna cook these super simply, stove top with, um, I'll probably do mashed potatoes and some kind of roasted vegetable. I think I have some Brussels sprouts that I'm gonna roast up. Just like simple, hearty comfort food. There are 
are my venison sausages. Not the most aesthetically pleasing setup. I just did them kind of in a bowl with some mashed potatoes and some Brussels sprouts. They cooked up to this like beautiful bronze color and they smell like super complex. Definitely gamey, but not as like kind of funky as I expected. I'm a little nervous. I haven't had venison in a long time, several years at least, but I know I liked it in the past, so. That's really good. It reminds me more of pork sausage. I know there's pork and beef in it, but it has like a kind of complexity to it. It doesn't taste as gamey as like a venison filet. There's a little bit of like a sweetness to it. I don't know if that's like the blueberries or the Merlot. I can't really pick out those individual flavors. It's just like really meaty and juicy and very, very tasty. I am very happy with this. All right, so I tried four things from Meat and Bone and I loved them. I loved every single one. Didn't get the full subscription just because that's like 20 servings for the smallest box. And I just wanted to try a couple of things just to test out some of like their stock. The game meat was awesome. Such a cool selection. Um, the bronzino was like probably my favorite thing. As I said, I would probably get like a box of just the bronzino. Yeah, everything I tried was awesome. I don't know that I would get a subscription though. Um, the subscriptions are definitely the best value for money. And they have a couple of different options to choose from in terms of, you know, a value box or a more like luxury box. If you want like the, the Wagyu beef, stuff like that. They have like a grilled box. I like to choose what I'm gonna eat. And I like having a little more variety. The boxes you choose between one and three kind of protein groups. So you could do like poultry, fish, and game meat, but you would leave out the pork, beef, and lamb. I would maybe go with a subscription if I could have a selection of all six, just because I like the variety. But I think I will stick with just ordering a la carte from their like online butcher shop. But I will order from them again. Everything was really good. Um, I think it's worth it to pay extra to kind of pick and choose rather than go with the subscription, but maybe they'll add a different subscription plan in the future uh, that will give me more variety or that will let me kind of like fill the box each month with from a selection of or you know from from like their butcher shop or whatever quality was awesome value was awesome everything was super fresh and really delicious and it's a lot of stuff that i think you can't really find anywhere else so definitely recommend <laughs>